Well, hello again, lovelies. I know I have not recorded a CNA Chronicles in a minute. I already know. Um, finals is coming up, so I've been kind of busy and everything. So, this session is about lazy nurses and CNA techs. Um, let's start off with, you know, you know, just saying that we work in healthcare, you know, any job that involves teamwork, we have to work together so everybody's happy. So when, don't get me wrong, I have came across a lot of good people. This job, I don't have that many problems. So it ain't even that. But this is just a collective of experiences I dealt with through me being a nurse's assistant. So, and, um... With that being said, let's start off with some nurses. Not all, just making clarification. Now, start off with the nurses that used to be nurse assistants. I'm going to be your biggest cheerleader, okay? There you you advance in your career. I'm trying to get where you at. And, or even if it's not nursing, I'm just trying to advance. So, I'm going to be your biggest cheerleader. Hey, you, you got it. whoop de whoop Boo. Now, I will correct you. Like, don't forget where you came from. I'm not asking you to do full-blown CNA work and everything else. You got your stuff you have to do. But don't forget that we get busy, too. We we get busy, too. It's, it's a knockdown. Like, nurses get disrespected sometimes by doctors. And some nurses disrespect us. I just want to make sure this light stay on. And nurses disrespect techs. You know, it's all like a downward, you know, it's all like a, a chain. And it happens. Um, but my thing is, don't forget where you started, okay? Like, situations with patients. Number one, I do not have a cape on my back. So, I cannot be everywhere at one time. I just can't. Um, scenario. Maybe a nurse would be in a room talking to the patient, giving something to them or whatever. The patient would be like, I need a glass of water. Okay. So they'll walk out the room. They may, you know, see me or call me be like, oh, this patient needs a glass of water. I said, and I tell them, did you just leave out of there? The main thing they normally say, not all nurses, but some, I am passing meds or I have to chart. Okay, if you're like me, I always keep, I, I, I set up my stuff. So, if you need to do something that don't involve, you know, that the person needs, like a simple glass of water, I have it ready, set out for you. All you gotta do is grab it, give it to them. And that's it. But if you make the point to get on the phone and call me and tell me this person needs water, the person would have had water already if you would have got it. Just saying. Now, a different scenario, which is a little more serious that that pisses me off, is that they can be in a room and be like, oh, I need to go to the bathroom. And a lot of nurse assistants and techs can't uh, relate where you will get to a point where you will hear them or they will call you and say, or they'll tell the, nurse, the, the the patient, let me go get Dijon so she can take you to the bathroom. Now, you were just in here. If you have the time to come out the room, pull out your phone, call me and tell them they have to go to the bathroom. When you just told them you're going to call me to go to the bathroom, they're going to expect me within minutes time to get there to get into the bathroom. Like I said, there's no damn cape on my back. Okay. So all that time you took to call me, come out, call me, you could have just had them in the bathroom. Like if you if they, you know, safe to be by themselves in the bathroom, call me and be like, oh, this patient, they're in the bathroom, whatever, you know, keep an eye out, not keep an eye out. Okay, that's fine. But if you had the time to call me and tell me, Oh, well, then you go to the bathroom and you give me that, that same scenario. I got a chart. 
I got to pass meds. Okay, but thing about it is, you were just in there. It only takes a minute, and you didn't call me and be like, okay, this person's in the bathroom, whatever. I took them to the bathroom. Now, if it's a person that is more than one, one person to deal with, then I understand. Like, no, do not jeopardize yourself. I'll, I'll be on my way. I'll let you know where I'm at, blah, blah, blah. But if they're in there and they're able, you're able to get them there safely on your own and they just want to assist to the bathroom, just get them there. Don't have them wait for me because I might not be there in minute time. And once I get there, they're pissed off at me because they expected me because you told them you're going to tell me to take them to the bathroom where you could have just took them to the bathroom. And so then you wondering why they mad at you and I thought you I told you they had to go to the bathroom. If I'm with another patient, I can't rush one to get to the other one. Like I said, there's no damn cape on my back. Just get them there. And another thing. Like if you hear things like alarms and stuff go off, there are nurses that will sit on their ass. And look extremely busy and assume that you are on your way with your cape on your back and running to the rescue. If I'm not there in a certain amount of seconds, see what's going on. Don't sit there. And like I said, disclaimer, not every nurse is like that. This is not about the job I'm at. This is a collective of experiences I've dealt with. And um, like I said... We are in the healthcare field to help these people and get them well, not to cause harm. Because if something happens to them, there are people that's ready to lie your ass on the ground, get behind the wheel of that bus, and run your ass over. Because they're not going to jeopardize your job for you. Just like you're not going to jeopardize your job, that's why you want to make sure everybody's happy. Now, some texts nurse assistants and like I said this is a collective of what I've been through in experiences of other jobs if you see me struggling and you sitting down doing nothing and you cool help don't be like oh girl I'm glad I ain't got that group and you see me struggling get over like hey girl you need help you seem you seem like you having some issues like yeah girl just help me I need this because I will come over there and help you I'm not going to let you struggle because I already know how it is to be taking care of a certain amount of people and it's just you. I understand that. So if I'm not doing anything, I'm going to help you. I'm not going to sit up here and let you fall under and be stressed out and figure out what you're supposed to do. So just help each other. Otherwise, you know, then everything will probably run smoothly. Sometimes it doesn't. But at least, you know, you won't be so stressed out that you're ready to pull your wig off. So... All, this is my little vent about that because I have worked with, you know, some nurse assistants. They'll see me running back and forth from my hall and they're just chilling at the desk. Like some of the nurses, they be chilling at the desk. They see something going off or a light going off or whatever. They ignore it. Like, oh, she'll get there when she get there. But then when I get there, the patient's pissed off because daylight's been going off a certain amount of minutes. And I've been in somebody else's room the whole time, and I'm telling them that they're not trying to hear it. If, if the light's going off and you don't see me and I might be busy, just go in there and say, okay, what do you need? What can I do for you? If it's more than a one person can help, you just let them know, okay, let me wait for this person. We're going to get you there because, you know, I can't do it by myself. You know, it's just it just bothers me that we work in a, a field where we're supposed to collectively help each other, and we don't. And it's stupid. And I know we get, you know, over, understaffed sometimes and everything else, but that's when we're supposed to really try to help each other out until, you know, better things is happening. So, you know, get more staffing or whatever it is. But that is my little rant. Just help each other out and everything else so i might have another video next week i let i would know by next week because like i said finals is next week and i might not be able to but if i do it'll be on here so i hope everybody will have a good week and everything so and like i say stay true stay you
Bye. Oh, hey there. You already know. Do your sister a favor, like, comment, and subscribe. Have a lovely week. Mm.